this prophetic um two years to pass this prophetic message has come true you know i just want to share that um uh now yung nung pag wala pa pa lang mabuti sa kalong ko na ay dalamin to sabi ko sabi ko sa ano may lang eh kasi sabi ko i received the message and then yun and Two years have passed, and now the prophetic message has come true. We now have him and celebrating his life. Today, sa pusaban in Silang Pagite, it was yeah, niyan po. Buti nga tawo hana ni Triani. We went there because we went there because. There's a, we heard that there's a piece of actual stone of the Tepayak Hill where Our Lady of Guadalupe had appeared in 1531. And, kami ni Adrian, ay, 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 Adrian and I, before we begin our year, um, as sisters, um, we go deep in silence, we stop, before before we start our year, ganun talaga na, um, we stop, we take a step back, and contemplate on a silent retreat, or just immerse ourselves on the Blessed Sacrament for the whole day, um, to thank Him, to thank God for the past year, and to ask His message of what He wants us to do for that following year. And that time kasi, I was... I really, really needed that break because I need to unload the burden of the past 2020. Um, marami kasing nangyari noon and maraming um, problem na nasolve din naman yung um, problem ko sa bahay, yung napatapos ng na bahay, nasam ako. <laughs> yung yung ganun, I mean, I want to thank you na it, uh, it all came to pass yung yung nangyari na yun, and as well as um, there was a conflict in the family that time. And as you all know, we are, Adrian and I are both Marian devotees, especially Our Lady of Guadalupe. Um, that time, we just recently um, got engaged, two months engaged pa lang kami ni Adrian nun. And um, I stood in front of the Tilma uh, there. And I I close my eyes because I, I need I need to unburden I need to unburden the hardship of the past year, and I began to pray. I close my eyes, and um, I felt an impression in my heart that time. Like, Malino Tani, you will have a son. And it's it's embarrassing to say after that, I was crying. I mean, I don't want to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden to someone who is going to be a burden Ang dami ko ang problema, di ba? Nagpunta ako sa kanya eh, kasi um, may, may um, I was the breadwinner and then this and this and that. And then for me kasi having a son is really a huge responsibility. And I needed to prepare myself physically, mentally, financially. Di lang ako, pati siya, di ba? So, so, and alam ko lang hindi sa kasalan. I mean, alam ko lang, ang plato ko kasi sana, for me, ideally, practically, um, house muna, very stable, house muna kami, may, may, yung, yung may sarili na kaming bahay, ikakatapos ng pagpagawa ko ng bahay kina sa parents ko. Yun. Um, however, at, at saka ano, isa sa mga isa sa mga things that I I'm really terrified of is have is um, pregnancy. I was a nurse si since back in college, way back in college. Um, I heard a lot of stories. I watch um, horror stories of pregnancy. Um, I don't know if you have a good birthing experience just like you, but I know um, 
many stories out there have a horror stories about birthing. Diba? Na they na uwi sa CS, operation, or something is wrong with the baby, something like that. So, and plus the big responsibility of having a son. Tapos, I really want to enjoy pasana kaming dalawa. Kasi we don't travel when we were a uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. So, we want to wait. So, yun. And then, kaya that's why I, I kind of struggle with God with that, uh, with that impression that I received. And then I learned eventually the significance of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Ayan, ito pala yung, ano, yung actual Tepayak stone na ano, we prayed for, we, we prayed there. And then, um, I, we are devoted, pero hindi ko, I didn't really much know about the maraming, ay, maraming, Meaning kasi yung image na yan eh, di ba? I mean, I, I don't know if uh, all of you know, but there are a lot of um, explanation or uh, reasons why there there are, how many stars are there, yung mga ganyan, mga ganun. And then, I didn't know that, that Our Lady of Guadalupe is a pregnant woman, is a pregnant um, Our Lady in Mexico. And, in Mexico, kasi, particularly Aztec women, a pregnant woman wears a black belt uh, to indicate that she is pregnant. Yun. Kasi usually, di ba, we have our lady apparition na may hawak na baby. But that apparition is a pregnant woman version of our lady. Yun. Um, I just surrender it to the Lord na about that idea. Kasi, um, probably it's uh, two years time, ganon. And tinanong ko rin kinanina, ang sabi ko, uh, I mean, I seek the advice of my, our godparents na should we wait or um, should we wait about na magka-baby, mag-baby ba agad or hindi. Kasi ako medyo matigas ang ulo ko na ayoko pa sana. But don't, sana hindi ka pala magtapo baby. Um, it's not that I don't want you. It's just that I just want everything ready right away for you. Diba? Parang... Um, when you try to control na uh, lahat lahat ang dyan. Kasi I, I just want him as, to be as comfortable as I can provi- uh, we can provide for the baby. Yun. And, pero God works in mysterious ways. Um, when we seek Him na God will provide even dun sa kasal yun, I mean kahit I mean yung yung uh, God has provided from the very beginning until the end all, all your needs for it to assuage His glory. Yun. And I just want to honor Him of that. Na even though you don't know or you're testing waters, na um, hindi mo alam kung it will be so deep, but God will hold your hand. Na um, and be with you in the step of the way. Kasi maganda sa kanya yung um, he will be with you. Not he will not be waiting in, to you on the other side for you to, to cross. But he will be with you as you walk. Yon. And two years have passed. This prophetic um th- two years have passed. This prophetic message has come true. Yon. I just wanna share that um uh now you know but. Nung wala pa pala magbuntis ako, alam ko na ay dalaki to. Sabi ko, sabi ko sa ano may lang eh. Kasi sabi ko I received the message and then yun. And two years have passed and now the prophetic message has come true. We now have him and celebrating his life and his baptism today in Van Diego. And also finally, um, I just wanna honor God and thank him for uh for a smooth sailing pregnancy that I had in the I really took the courage na mag water birth yun in painless uh, without anesthesia in uh, all of the things that I have prayed for each day each rosary um, that I dedicate the uh, all the small details it was uh, it was granted no stretch marks sorry ang babaw 
babaw, sorry. I mean, yung parang hindi ko nang stress for myself. I mean, I, I, um, parang sa, and also the pain. Um, you know, tita, I mean, uh, yung, I ask a lot of uh, people na, oh, how, how's, how's your pregnancy? How did, how did it went? Ganyan, and, um, iba-iba, pero most of them really had a hard time with, uh, with the pain. Thank you, uh, man, for sharing um, everything. I mean, yung sa water birth, and I took the courage, and I, I asked God, na, um, that, kaya nung ko siya, kaya nung ko siya na, um, normal water birth. I had no epistotomy. I had no cut. I mean, I was so blessed to have those little tiny, um, little tiny request from Mama Mary na na hindi ko siya pagdaanan. And, um, ang ganda kasi, uh, after that day, I mean, I was so strong. I didn't inimatay nga ako eh. I mean, Ang last ko that day talaga na I I was able to stand and take care of him. I didn't I didn't experience any dizziness. I I was uh, I was up. I was uh, ready to to take care of him after I I gave birth. It kita niyo naman ng payet-payet <laughs> parang um it was all God's grace and uh, finally anak um baby Ivan Jago, I want you to know na whenever I look at you it is a testament of God's grace, of how God has saved me, how God had, um, how God had given all the things that I didn't deserve. All those small details, all those um, things that I have asked, I have asked for. You, whenever I look at you, I, I thank God, na dumating ka sa amin, in. So support that kita whatever you want to do in your life. I'm praying you become a priest, but oh, but pero kahit anong uh, gusto mo anak, um, I will support you. Uh, you are loved. You are loved by by us, by me, by your parents, and by your father and mother in heaven, Mama Mary and Papa Jesus, and all the saints that I have prayed for. Yun lang po. Thank you po. <laughs> I hope you are blessed. Sorry. Thank you very much for the very hard. And mga ka faith, I invite you to check out my merch store sa Merchiful at sa Shopee. Kung interested ka na makita yung aking mga merchandise item, punta ka lang sa link na ilalagay ko sa baba or sa taas ng video na to. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na na-bless at na-inspire ka dito sa aking vlog. Make sure na i-like mo at mag-comment ka sa baba ng video na to at mag-subscribe ka sa aking YouTube channel para lagi ka updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. At huwag mo din kakalimutan na i-like ang aking page. So this has been Adrian Milag encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. God bless you more abundantly.